let's say you, you sold the pop up today and a month later the people come back and they had an air conditioner. They didn't they didn't have the money to do it initially, but now they're coming back, it's a bit hotter than you know what. And they want to add that. What's nice about Jayco's power lift system here, which which was designed by Jayco and Lippert components together, is it's gonna sense that load, that additional weight. So you're not gonna you're not gonna be ripping your tent or you're not your tent's not gonna be sagging because of the additional weight. What the other brands have to do is they have they actually have to mechanically they have to change their limit switches. And if they don't get those adjusted properly, that's what's gonna happen. Ours is just it's automatically gonna sense whatever load you have, maybe you maybe you have the optional bike rack on the unit, it's gonna sense that load as well. I'll just show you here, you've got, you've got the key fob remote. What makes it nice, if, if you can envision, if we had the tent on here, it makes it very nice for putting the camper away. Tucking the tent in, you can walk around, that's something you want to show the customer when you're featured and benefiting. You know, you could really, you could really do this yourself. You'd be able to just walk around the camper and get that done. The other thing, let's, let's say somebody misplaced the key fob, don't know where it is. You have two switches next to the entry door. You have one, which is a safety switch. You have to push down on the safety switch, and then you press the other button. And you do the same thing right here, without your key fob. Really what's happening here is that all they did was Place the uh, the lifter system crank here. You can see that back here. If anybody can come around here, what they've done is this this whole module from side to side. They added this power module. They engineered that. It's got a, actually a, a ball screw system here. It still uses the uh, the cables and the eyelets just like the old system did. But instead of a lifter system winch here, the manual, that's your, your uh, motor, and you can see the, uh, the quarter inch hex that it takes here if you actually wanted to manually override that with the drill gun. And right, uh, right in this area is the brain I was talking about, that's what senses your load on the roof. But it's, it's still doing the same thing that Jayco's traditional, or Lloyd's, designed 43 years ago. You have push rods. What it's doing is it's pushing, it actually pushes the on the rods here. The rods go up through the, uh, the lifter post arm. Really, all this is doing is is covering up the the greasy lift uh, lifter push rod. And that lifter push rod, you can see it if you come closer. It's actually greased up on the assembly line one time. There's no maintenance on the system. Once you grease up that lifter lifter system rod, that, that's all you need. There's no grease certs or anything like that that people have to check and maintain once a year. 